for Manny. What does it say? Dear George, I wanted to give you this watch in person, but the doctors say my time is running out. I probably won't even live long enough to... Oh, my God. He died right there. He didn't even finish the letter. No, I can't read this word. <laughs> That's a V. It's a V. Live long enough to benefit from your kidney. Okay, it's a B. Yeah, so that stuff gets rid of headaches? Yep. Let's see if it works. <laughs> no, the pain's still there. Well, I got my own headache medicine. Arthritis and depression, possible side effects, waking up in a field with your panties on your head. I don't like what's happening with Max. He's getting a real mouth on him, and now he's starting to act out. Come on, Angie. He's just being a boy. When I was his age, I pulled all kinds of stupid pranks. Oh, one time I hit a dead shrimp in the lining of Ernie's jacket. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny when your friend is running the bases and kickball and all the cats are chasing them and everybody in the school is yelling, go, stinky, go! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> I don't know who I married. Mr. Needles has a tumor in his stomach. Oh, my baby. It's already shown signs of spreading, but he has a slim chance if we operate quickly. How much? <laughs> well, that depends on a lot of things. But you can't put a price on a family member. Oh, yeah? My son, five grand. My daughter, 2,200. My mom, free if you tore away. How much will the operation cost? Around $3,000. $3,000? I'm sorry, baby. Why don't you take a night to think about it? You can leave him here and we'll keep an eye on it. How much did that cost? Well, that depends on a lot of variables. If you want him to have his own room, a private nurse. How much? $150. No way! For $150, bucks, I can get him a hotel room and a... Hot food and send them off in style. He tore it all night long. Really, what are you doing tonight? This is a very, very sick dog. Does that look sick to you? It's so sad, Angie's kissing his ass goodbye. <laughs> Dogs know. He knows. <laughs> you know what? Uh, God came to me last night in a vision. <laughs> I don't have to go anymore. Yeah? What'd he say? It was all a big mix-up. <laughs> it turns out he was trying to save some dog in China, Mr. Noodles. the lamest excuse I've ever heard. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see. Smoke or talk to Angie? Well, they both shorten my life. But you know, the tax on these helps pay for public schools. This one's for the kids. <laughs> I'm not going to go to Mexico and crawl on my knees. George, it doesn't matter if you actually go, as long as Max thinks you went. Mom, I'm not going to lie to him. Why not? 
You'll never find out. George, remember when you were little and I took you to Disneyland? Yeah. It was just a carnival in a church parking lot. <laughs> but there was Disney characters there. Nope. Nope. Those dwarves you were hugging? They were just dwarves. <laughs> fighting out there. This is your fault. Once he cries and runs, it'll be fine. <laughs> that doesn't even work when you do it. I know. I don't deserve to talk to you right now. I'm gonna go play golf. I don't know. <laughs> Daddy, if you lost, you should pay George. Why? You already owes me thousands of dollars for the garage. All right, if that's the way you want it, then you owe me five bucks for the sandwich. What? If you're gonna nickel and dime me, I'm gonna nickel and dime you right back. Okay, you're both being childish. George, give my dad back his sandwich. <laughs> Daddy, I'll make you another one. Hey. Make him all the sandwiches you want, Angie. I'll just add it to his tab. That's right. Let me see. That's $10 for two sandwiches and uh, $15 for that steak you ate on Friday. Oh, and a dollar for every time you said Castro or Cuba or Oye Chico. <laughs> so let's see. That's $17,050 minus the $17,000 for the garage. So you owe me, look at that, man, 50 bucks. <laughs> Oye Chico, this is insane. 51. So there isn't one thing you ever thought that I was good at? Well, I don't know about that. I thought you were pretty good on the guitar. What? You never thought I was any good at the guitar? Yes, I did. I used to tell Marlene Sanchez all the time. You told Marlene Sanchez, you liar. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna call her right I'm now. Call her right now. You don't think I want to see you do it right now. I'll call her right now. No, pick up the phone. Sanchez. Here we go, in San Fernando. Maria, 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 Maria. Marlene. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Sanchez. Hey, it's George Lopez. Uh -huh. Remember I used to live down the block? You remember, remember? With the head, that one. <laughs> hey, is Marlene there? Oh my God, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Hey man, before she slipped away, did she mention that I was good at guitar? <laughs> Hello? Marlene's gone, and so am I. Oh no, you're not going anywhere until you say something nice about my life. George, don't be stupid. Mom, I can wait. You, on the other hand, need a smoke in about three minutes. I'm not gonna do it. Why not? Would it kill you to say something nice about me for once? No. Say something nice. No. Say it. No. Why not? Because if I do, it'll go away. What are you talking about, you crazy old bat? <laughs> you are not supposed to brag about things. If you do, the evil eye will take it away. You know. Mal diojo. Okay, let's try this again. What are you talking about, you crazy old bat? I am not crazy. Why do you think I rubbed pee on your face when you were a baby? <laughs> Mom, that's unsanitary. You know, your aunts kept saying how cute you were and so... I had to go and get some ugly to rub on your face. 
you know, so, so that the evil eye would pass over you. So I took a little pee from the diaper. That was the ugly. <laughs> you know, now that I look back at it, I probably put a little too much on it. Well, now that you say it like that, it makes perfect sense. I better go wake up my adorable son and smear it with his own waist. <laughs> you know, to protect him from the evil eye. Shut up, Shut up. Shh. It can hear you. With what, Mom? It's evil ears? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Almost everything good in my life's been taken away. You don't play with this. That's why you don't compliment me? Wait a second, then why were you complimenting Randy? If something happens to Randy, that's bad. If something happens to you... Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. You know what? You're really a good mom. Come and get her, I. <laughs> You're a good person and you should live forever. Come on, I! We're going in the backyard. Let's go. It's Carmen. She's gonna miss Max getting his diploma. Relax. You could say she was running late. She wants to stop home and change out of her uniform. She'll never get here. She's probably going through every outfit in her closet. Too fat. Too thin. No hair. <laughs> I have a very hard time buying pants. Look over there. So stupid. You can't go home, Mom. Bob knows where you live. Bob who? You know, big, scary Bob from work. She kicked him in the little scary bubs. <laughs> Is he going to press charges? You know, he didn't say. Angie, you know, after you've been racked... The last thing you feel like doing is chatting. Hello, 